So the elemental diet, or also known as the amino acid diet in the SMA world, is basically a diet where you're getting all of your protein in the form of free amino acids. So for instance, um, if we eat just a regular diet or we drink milk or even if we um, used a special nutritional supplement like Pediasure, all of the proteins are going to be long chains and they're going to have to be broken down by the body. Um, kind of the next step down from there is a partially or semi-hydrolyzed formula where the proteins have been broken down into smaller pieces. Um, they're not quite, they're not big chains. The elemental or amino acid diet is when you're getting all of your proteins in the form of free amino acids. So amino acids are that's just what proteins are made of. So you're getting, instead of getting long chains of protein that your body has to break down, you're getting free amino acids. So very easily absorbed, there's no digestion needed, um, they go straight to your tissues. So people will often use um, in the SMA world, formulas like Tolerex, which is an amino acid formula, um, very, also very, very low fat. Um, Vivanex, which is a Vivanex or pediatric Vivanex, which is a amino acid formula. Maybe uh. some Neocate, Neocate Junior. Um, then they often, because they were trying to meet protein requirements. Um, and not exceed a certain amount, you you often can't give just this just this formula because then protein intake would end up too high. So oftentimes then it's mixed with something with other products. Um, if it's if you need to mix it with certain types of oils to get in essential fatty acids, mixing it with different sources of carbohydrate, like um, a lot of people use baby food just because it's already pureed and you can blend it blend it easily, um, juice, some people even mix in human milk or breast milk that's been pumped into, um, into this mixture. Although th the proteins that you're getting in breast milk are intact, um, it's, it's still generally called an amino acid diet. So this was developed by, um, by the community, by the families in the community through trial and error. Um, it's one of the only diseases I've worked with where diet is, the, the diet therapy was invented by the families. Um, they, they basically monitor things like heart rate, rate of breathing, um, secretions um, that they're having to suction from the mouth or what they're noticing coming out as, as drool. Um, bloating, um, just general uncomfortableness. They look at stools, um, also, also sweating, all sorts of stuff to kind of judge tolerance to, to diet. Although what's tricky is any of those symptoms that I listed could also be because you're sick or because there's something else going on or because of SMA, it's the disease process itself. But a lot of families feel like those are those things change, those symptoms change based on diet. And so um, word kind of spread that this family tried tried this amino acid diet and it worked. Now I'm going to try it with my child. And oh, it worked. And I'm going to try it with my child and it worked. So it sort of spread to the community. It, it has not been studied. Um, we are trying to get a clinical trial started so we can study it because since there is no data on this diet, a lot of people who are not used to dealing with SMA are very afraid to try it and you get a lot of resistance in the medical community. So you have families wanting to do one thing in the medical community saying they don't want to try it. And so um, at, at our institution, um, in Wisconsin at American Family Children's Hospital, we're pretty, we're, fa we're family centered. And so we try to work with the family as much as possible and, and do what they would like to try as long as it's safe. Um, so we want to try to, um, you know, educate other people 
how to try this diet in a safe way um, and to not be afraid of it. But, but at the same time, we also realize that it does need to be, need to be studied and um, hopefully we will be able to get a grant through the FDA that will help us study this diet. SMA is a degenerative disease, but you, you start out, I mean, most of these um, children with SMA, and more so it's the children with type 1 who are going to be on the amino acid type diet. Um, we, we have a handful of kids with type 2 who might follow, but it's primarily the, the kids who are weaker with type 1. Um, they might be, they're on a totally um, regular diet as infants. They might be on infant formula where the, all the proteins are intact, um, or maybe they're on human milk. And um, I know different, the other dietitians who work in SMA, we've all experienced different things. Every kid is, is different, but generally we, we don't see a whole lot of problems tolerating regular formula, like for instance, like a Similac or an Infamil or a Good Start, we don't see any problems tolerating that during infancy. Um, if we do, we might tr try um, a either partially, partially hydrolyzed diet, again, where the proteins are partially broken down, or we might try an amino acid diet, but generally regular formula is tolerated. So kind of how we practice at our institution, usually at age of one, you would need to transition off of infant formula onto a um, regular pediatric formula just to meet your needs. So because there's so much of um, parental report of benefits of the amino acid diet, that's just what we tend to go with instead of, so instead of just, you know, you're on a, you know, regular formula as an infant, okay, now you're one. Instead of transitioning them to uh, equivalent pediatric product, we're most likely going to um, transition them to an amino acid type diet. Again, because, because parents say that it works and that their kids um, feel better and don't have as many of these symptoms and, and seem stronger. But, it, but it's all subjective. And um, so we, we don't know if it, has, if it has clear benefit or not. One thing you have to be careful with um, in that, especially in that one to two, one to three age period is um, the, the choice of formula. Um, so oftentimes these diets can be very low fat these amino acid based diets and infants and then especially you know one to two year olds need a certain amount of fat for brain development so you have to be careful not to go too low fat because in general these SMA based diets tend to be moderate protein about one anywhere from one to two grams per kilogram of body weight um, ends up being basically about 10% of calories. They tend to be anywhere from 20, probably max would be about 30% of fat. Some people are as low as 10% fat. Um, and then it could be, you know, 70, 80% carbohydrate. So, so you do have to be careful in, in the little ones that they're getting enough fat for brain development. And then because calories are so low, calorie needs are so low in this population just because they have reduced muscle mass um, and they're not moving. Um, you have to make sure all the vi they're getting the correct amounts of all the vitamins and minerals because of their because of their low calorie needs. Okay, that makes sense. And then you want to you know you want to watch fluid closely too because it, just because their calorie needs are reduced, again their fluid needs aren't reduced and their vitamin and mineral needs aren't reduced. They're also losing more fluid just through sweating more and drooling and, and that sort of thing. So you really have to make sure they get adequate fluid.